racing down trackside. It's time to meet the starters for race six. Number one is Armbro View, owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware. Irvin Miller trains, and Andy Miller will drive. Number two, Sunny and Cheer, is owned by Jim and D. Ella Scott of Mount Vernon, trained by Philip Cotton. The driver is Eric Ledford. Number three, Mystical Smile, is owned by Carl Becker's Fair Meadow Farm of Altamont, trained by Tony Bell, the driver Dave McGee. Number 40, Termination Plus, owned by John and James Lamparis of Palos Park and Naperville, Illinois. Teresa Ledford, the trainer, Brent Holland, was listed to drive, and it will be Ron Marsh, apparently, in the bike. Ron Marsh on the four, Determination Plus. Number five, L.C. Cinderella, owned by Rucker Stable Incorporated of Beecher. Marty Engel of Buffalo Grove, trained by Ken Rucker, the driver, Fremont, Michigan's Michael Osting. Winner here is a three-year-old a couple of years ago. Here they come for the sixth. They are off and pacing. L.C. Cinderella fires out for the lead, but Determination Plus is going to go with her. Armbro View is there down toward the inside as they enter the first turn, and L.C. Cinderella moves up in the center of the track and clears the inside traffic for the lead a length and a half. Armbro View goes second. Determination Plus is third. And then a gap of four more lengths to Sunny and Cheer with Mystical Smile trailing the field as they go by the quarter. L.C. Cinderella is on top off a quarter in 26 and two-fifths second. L.C. Cinderella leads it by a length. Armbro View is second by a length. Determination Plus is third. Then a gap of three more to Sunny and Cheer and Mystical Smile is at the back. And here comes Armbro View to the outside. The favorite Armbro View is moving up to get the lead before the half as L.C. Cinderella is now second by two lengths. Determination Plus goes third. Five more lengths back to Sunny and Cheer and Mystical Smile and Armbro View has broken stride. Off a half in 53 and 3. The front quarter 26 and 2. The second quarter 27 and 1. And the favorite is dead last on a break and 25 lengths off the lead at the three quarter. LC Cinderella regains the lead by just over a length. Determination Plus, one of the Illinois breads in the race, is second. Five more lengths to Sunny and Cheer, third. Mystical Smile, fourth. And Armbro View is still off stride. Three quarters, one minute, 22 seconds flat. LC Cinderella. The New York bread mare is on top by a length and a half, turning for home. Determination Plus is second, Sunny and Cheer third. Mystical Smile is fourth, and they're moving by the eighth pole. And Determination Plus takes to the outside, trying to catch L.C. Cinderella. The Illinois bread, Determination Plus, is coming on. Mystical Smile moves up the rail toward third. Here's Determination Plus to challenge L.C. Cinderella. Folks, would you believe it? Illinois bread, Determination Plus wins it. By just over a length, it was L.C. Cinderella home second. Photo for third, either Sunny and Cheer or Mystical Smile in 152 flat. Folks, moving into the winner's circle. A mayor who was bred in Illinois by sportsman who has over a half million dollars in earnings and beats a very nice field and open company here today. How about a hand for the Illinois bred mare? Determination plus Ron Marsh with the winning drive. Owned by John and James Lemparis of Palos Park in Naperville, bred by Dr. Kenneth and Patricia Walker's Fox Valley Standard Breads, now of Sherman, Illinois. Rundown coming up. And here is the entire official order of finish for race six. From the top, Armbro View was five. Sunny and Cheer was three. Mystical Smile was four. Smile four. Determination plus the winner. And L.C. Cinderella two.